so uh, so my high school reunion, 20 years, uh, is uh, going on right now. And uh, I think uh, we're, we're around the same age, dear cat. So uh, probably had maybe something similar going through this. I don't know. But, uh, but I wrote a blog post about this um, earlier in the week. And uh, over at DrAnonymous.com. And uh, I will read this. And then we will uh, we'll talk about it here as well. So this is uh, titled, uh, Skipping High School Reunion, Sunday, August 22. So it starts like this. So my 20-year high school reunion is coming up in about a week, and I've been going back and forth on whether I'm going to attend the event. I really have no excuses. I was born, grew up, went to college, and ultimately work in the same city. That's depressing to talk about, but that's for another post. So it's not like I have to get on a plane or make any kind of lavish travel plans to get to the reunion. Ten years ago, I went to the reunion. I admit I really didn't have a good time. It was like stepping into a time machine and having all those insecurities come back to me. In fact, I think the 10-year reunion was actually at the school. How weird is that? Well, although it's probably pretty common. Anyway, this is probably pretty snobbish for me to say, but I've decided I'm not going to my reunion Facebook, despite all the negativity out there right now, has been an interesting way for me to catch up with the people that uh, I really want to follow anyway. And for me, I'm pretty content with that. Facebook has handled my curiosity factor for most of the people I was wanting to catch up with anyway. So best of luck to my class as they celebrate their 20-year reunion coming up tonight. I won't be there. But maybe through the magic of social media and Facebook, I will probably see some pictures. I'd rather go back through the time machine, through the comfort of my own home, than in person. (laughs) And uh, I know, Kat, I know you've, uh, we've talked about this a little bit. And, uh, you know, I really, I was, you know, I I really didn't have any, well, I did have a desire to go. And I've been, I was going back and forth on it. You know, right up until last weekend. And it was just like, you know, there's some people I want to see. There's some people I don't want to see. But, you know, I just, it was just, it would, I don't know about you, but high school was not the best, best experience for me. And uh, I just really didn't want to go, go through that, all that again. And, and basically what I thought it was going to be is like, oh, well, you know, I'm at this job. I have this many kids. Um, you know, this is what's going on. And, and uh, you know, what have you done with your life in the past 20 years? So, I don't know. I just didn't want to go through it. And I'm like, hey, forget it. You guys are on your own. Well, I don't think it's snobby at all. And, you know, other than, like, we were talking about, it's so weird that we're talking about this now because I, I was bringing up stuff I did in high school. But musical theater was, like I said, the only real fun time of high school for me. It's the only place to ever really feel like I fit in, you know? And the first three years of high school were horrible. <laughs> when I was, you know, it just, I didn't, you know, I wouldn't want to go through high school again. The only way I wouldn't want to go through it again is knowing everything I know now. Then I wouldn't mind. But if I had to go through it all again, still being the same person I was, I would not want to do it. And, you know, I mean, I'm not saying that people were horrible to me or anything like that, or, you know, I didn't get bullied. You know, I can't imagine these poor kids that get bullied. I think that that is the the worst thing a kid can go through through school. I, I just feel so bad for kids who get bullied, okay? And I think it's probably worse now than it ever was when I was a kid. But... I wasn't, like, popular or or anything. And and when you're in high school, that's important, you know. And it's funny that, you know, after high school, when you get into adulthood or and you you get into the real world, you realize how all of that was so stupid and none of it even matters, you know. But I don't think I would want to go to my high school reunions either. Reunion, reunion, whatever, whichever. I mean, I never had any desire to. And I don't think it's snobby. I think it's just, you know, why? If you, if you, if you didn't really enjoy high school, why revisit it, you know? Right, right. <clears throat> Have you been to any reunions, uh, any high school reunions yourself, or not really? Well, you know, what's so weird is 
you know, the only, I guess, reunion that I would be invited to would be, because you have to be a senior, right? You have to have graduated from the school. And when I moved to uh, Florida, I went to a huge high school where they had a bunch of people in the graduating class, and I don't even get those invitations. But one year, it was actually when I had my cancer, when uh, uh, I was going through all that and I was in Baton Rouge, they had a high school union for my high school in Baton Rouge. And my friend invited me, even though I didn't graduate from there. And it was probably, I guess, five years. Not Maybe not five. Was it five years? Yeah, it was five years. Wait, 89, 91, 92? Yeah, it was five years because it was 94. I graduated in 89. And uh, it was kind of lame, you know. And pe- but people were kind of nice, you know, because they knew what I was going through and everything. But it was like, mm, you know. But I, I, I wasn't necessarily invited to that. My friend who I went to school there with invited me. But they accepted me there because I went to that school for three years. You know, it wasn't like they said you have to leave. <laughs> so was your uh, but, uh, is, a, is, is your was your friend hot too? Okay, so you guys just like hung out and said, "Hey, look at us." <laughs> no, I know you didn't do that. Uh, actually, you know who the friend was was that girl who called into the show. Remember the girl, my friend Kathy, who called into the show a while back. Yeah. Who, who lives in Chicago now? It was actually her that I went with. Wow. Hmm. Yeah. So, you know, then I moved to Florida, went to a big, and that was, that was a private Catholic school, so it was smaller. So everybody knew everybody. But when I went to this big public school in Florida, I didn't even know who all my classmates were. And all my friends were in musical theater, and the majority of them were like sophomores, juniors. I mean, my best friends in high school in my senior year were younger than me. And yeah. I'm looking for them, but, you know, they're hard to find. But, uh, you know, I don't have, the only person I have any contact with from high school is Kathy. And it's not even that often. So, but I I don't even have my real name on Facebook because I don't want anyone finding me. I mean, I don't know that, I've never thought of that as being snobby. I just thought of it as, why? (laughs) Right, right, right. Yeah, I mean, I, when I joined Facebook, I mean, you know, one of the first things was, you know, all these people from grade school, even grade school, grade school and high school were friending me, and you're like, hey, how you doing? It's nice seeing you. And um, well, I, I'm, one, of the, one of the few cool things that from that experience was that uh, um, some of those people still had the old um, uh, class photos from then, you know, back in kindergarten, first grade, second grade, third grade. And uh, that was kind of fun to see, you know, some of those some of those kids from all the way back then, and and see what they're doing now. So you know, that aspect was kind of fun, and be like, oh yeah, I remember, you know, whatever that memory was from, you know, fourth grade or fifth grade, or this teacher or that teacher. Um, that that was fun to reminisce about, you know. And then five minutes go by, and you're like, okay, I, you know, I'm done. I'm going to do something else now. Part of me, you know, I, for a while there, I because when I saw Kathy on Facebook, I looked at some of her friends and I saw some of the people I went to high school with, and I'm like, part of me thought, should I start a page and see what these people are like now? And I went back and forth with that for a while, but then I, I chickened out. <laughs> chickened out. <laughs> it's, I don't know. And, you know, like I said, I, I don't know how I'd be if I would have gotten really picked on at school. You know, I just was kind of not noticed. It was more like that. I wasn't noticed. I wasn't bullied, but I wasn't noticed either. You know, and. Oh, it makes me so sad. <laughs> 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 oh yeah see i'm kind of depressed just even talking about it i'm just like okay great so let's talk about all the uh let's talk about all the popular people that uh i uh was hanging out with in high school oh no it really didn't uh really didn't happen that way <laughs> it was always always the, the outside guy looking in you know that type of thing and and uh you know it's like do i really want to go back to that or you know or you, you, I, so it was just it was, but you know, even till last weekend, I'm like, you know, I should just, you know, people change, 
you know, they're not the same as they were before, you know, and, you know, maybe some of these people are really good people that I should really know. So maybe some of them are some people that I should know now who are local who say, oh, you know, I didn't know that this happened to you or, you know, that you turned out to be this, you know, a lot better person than you were in high school. That's kind of interesting. Um, so I was really, you know, honestly, I was really struggling with that and saying, you know, maybe I shouldn't, maybe I shouldn't write these people off and, you know, into what I remembered them back in high school. Maybe I should give them a second chance and say, hey, you know, this is, <clears throat> you know, how's, how's your life going? And, you know, just, but you know, when it ultimately came to the decision, I was like, you know, not really. And, and I think part of that was that, you know, I saw the people who were organizing the reunion and it's all local people and, you know, I didn't really see a lot of people who were going to be flying in, you know, for this. And uh, you know, and those are the people that, that I'm uh, really curious about, those people who were, you know, out of town and, you know, doing some great things. And, you know, just and I read about them sometimes in the newspaper about, you know, this or that. And those are the people that I really want to see, but they're not coming to this. And that kind of factored into me not going. I'm like, well, the people I really don't want to see are not really coming in town anyway. And. Um, and the people that are here, or well, you know, I could <laughs> didn't want to see them anyway, which is probably mean <laughs> to say, but you know, that's kind of where I was at. So I'm like, oh, okay, forget it. So, so they're probably out there right now, you know, um, you still partying and stuff. So, uh, but you know, whatever. Yeah, you know, I th- well, first I want to say I think it's cool though, you know, in a in a way that you've always been in the same place. You know what I'm saying? That because when I read your post, I was like, "Wow, that must be cool." You know, like if I never have left Baton Rouge, I don't, you know, I don't know how different my life would be. You know, because when you move somewhere, it's such a—I mean, yeah, it's new experiences and all this, but it's also a lot of stress on you. And uh, I kind of miss home sometimes, but I, I'm happy where I am now. But uh, you know, of course, I miss LSU football games. I miss New Orleans. I miss all that stuff, but. I don't know why I was mentioning that. I just meant to, I wanted to put that in, but I forgot where I was going with my whole point anyway. <laughs> That's all right. <laughs> That's okay. <laughs> That's what happens. This is what happens when you get high on life. You forget what you were going to say. That's all right. You'll, you'll you'll remember it, you know, and, and we still have, you know, 70 minutes of the show remaining. So when because <laughs> we, we have some time to remember. fill. So when you remember it, just, just, uh, <laughs> Just say, oh, I remember what I was going to say, and then we can uh, we can move on from there. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Uh, oh, I know, I know what I was going to say. Yeah, see, there you go. Uh, see. Uh, well, something you said earlier about um, how giving people a chance now, and I think it's kind of the phenomenon of how why people who weren't necessarily your friend in high school want to friend you. People do change when they get out of high school. I mean, we all change. We grow up. We get over the, you know, people that were jerks may not be jerks anymore. Um, or people that weren't jerks might be jerks now. And, you know, it, people people change. So I think that, you know, high school is just a whole other, that age, not just the, not just the high school experience, but the age. You know, you're still so young then, you know, <laughs> your brain is still growing and, and you, you just change a lot. 